Now, here we go. <laughs> right. Organizing your shop, right, and why it works that way. You see this jumbled up mess I got here? Wow, it's still up here. Right. This is every power tool except for that grinder, right, and uh, maybe the jigsaw. Right, maybe not now. Nah, this old jigsaw that's actually loose from this pie. Everything else is a jumbled up, tangled mess. And there's everything in here from, from a, you know, a vibrating sander, right, to a skill saw, right. Let's see, what's this? This is a, this is a Chicago electric long shaft die grinder. Look at that. I still got the bit on it. Look at that. Right, okay, put that away over there. Man, what's this one? Uh, this one, wait, I'm tied up here. See, look, this is why it's bad because because the cords get all tangled and then they get you pulling on each other and then they get you pulling each other out of their socket. Right, what's this? This is an old Black and Ducker 3 8 drill. Look, still got the bit on it. And this one takes a chuck. Bet your dollar I don't find a chuck around here, but I'll get it out. Watch. I put that one up there. What's this? Oh, that right, would be good grinder. Oh, this one's loose. Look at that. That's a good one right there. She's brand new almost. So we got here another black and decker. Right, this one is a variable speed. No, this one is a one speed. Right, this is a forward and backwards. That's it. Right, warning to reduce risk of injury. Right, double insulated. Right, it's got a looks like a three inch chuck on it. You see? Blah blah. blah. There's the sander. Regular vibrating sander. These ones are cool. I like these ones. This first. This one is an old Rockwell. Yeah, that's a good one. Right, old days. This one, back in high school, we used this shit in wood shop. Right, heck yeah, that's a good one. Right, you want to take, look, still got sandpaper, still in good shape. You want to take care of your equipment. Right, this here's another grinder. You don't want to just throw it in there in a jumbled up, tangled up mess. Now, yeah, I know, right? Just everyone's got a box and there's a box for everything. But most of these, you know what I'm saying? The box is 100 million years old and ain't worth fuck. It's been thrown away. See, look, there's another reason. See, look at that. Right, cable being cut right there, cut through right by the blade or the tip or something, probably from this, probably from this die grinder bit right here. Right? So that's kind of that's kind of risky right there. We need to we need to take care of that. Right, and when you do find stuff like this, this is why you do these kind of things periodically. You fix it right then and there. That's right? real simple. Look, tape. Right, dude, you gotta have black tape. Look, you look around you. There's means. There's all kinds of shit in here. You think I don't know where the black tape is? Well, this stuff is badass next to duct tape. For <laughs> yeah, red green. Here we go. Just tape it up. I gotta do uh, because it cut the it cut the wrapper. It didn't cut the wire. Huh? Now wrap it up. Huh? It's probably a good little grinder right here. Looks like they've used it a lot. <laughs> Look at that one. Four, <laughs> that was one of them four-inch wheels. Ground down the shit. I gotta make a note to put change the wheel on this puppy. Right, this is a good little grinder. Right, and still saw. Uh, this is this is, Oh, wait a minute. What the heck is this? A heat gun? Right, oh, Jesus. There's everything down here. See now, look. Now you get. You guys are starting to understand. Now look. This is why you organize your shop, so your tools don't get destroyed, your equipment doesn't get destroyed. Right. You seem to know where everything is because you're the one that put it there. Right now, look. I'm not changing anything in this shop. Right. You know, don't don't get the misconception. I'm not moving it around, putting it the way I want it to put. Right, what I'm doing is, is I'm taking it out, cleaning around it, putting it back, but stacking it in a better order. Right, so there's more room. Watch. By the time I get everything cleared out between here and there, right, I'm, I'm going to have at least three quarters of that space that's being taken up now by all this junk. Right, it's going to come back to mind to be open so I can move more of this other shit underneath there. Right, you know what I'm saying? Or I can have this other choice. I can leave it open. Right, so then when I'm working on other stuff, other projects, I can put the stuff down there, underneath there, until I get the project finished. And then we're on with it. Right, see, that's how you do it. That's the reason why that you organize your shit every once in a while, and you make sure it's done right. Right, let's see. I bet you this little skill saw works like a mad chicken. Heck yeah, look at that blade. Still pretty sharp. 2.5 horsepower. Right, look, see, see, they've already cut this one one time or two before. Right, then splice together. Right, you want to pick that bad tape off. There we go. I'm going to take that little piece of bad tape, Bob. You want to retake it? Huh? Right, you don't want to take it all the way off to see what they did. Heck no, dude. You just tape it over again. Right? Because you know it's been fixed right there. Right? Just tape it over, reseal it, get all the goo and the bullshit off. Right? Do it again. 
There you go. Mm. And then wind it up. All right. That can't be Got to be done this way, doesn't it? All right, now it's in. Now I got them all separated. All right. I got to find the wrench to take the bit out of the chuck on this one. See that chuck? See how driven the. Now this one is the Chicago Electric. Right, so we're just going to wrap him up. Put him with you. No, I'm not, it's not going to end up in another jumbled up pile. I can hear you, Dan. Right? Uh, it's not going to, because watch, I'm going to show you why. Right? You got everybody tied up, set that little back. Here we go. Now look, this is how you do it. Organization. Right? forward and backwards, all right, single speed, all right, mind it up real good, fast and steady, all right, and then put it right in the pocket, the bingo, all right, and then we just uh, put boss's grinder right here in the front, right here in the front, so I remember to give it to him, now this grinder doesn't have a wheel, and this is one of those cool ass fucking, zzz, right, Dremel, right, this one is a, right, saw max, now look at that shit, all right, let's see, putting them little cutter wheel, any kind of pub wheel on this thing that fits on the little drum thing, got safety to latch just like a grinder. <laughs> yep. Put that wheel there in the back. Grinder with no wheel, and check it out. This was funny. This one is a Chicago Electric Power Tool, another one. This one is brand new. Virtually brand new. Look at that. Look at that. Brand new. Probably only been used a couple of times, one wheel. Right, and it's all thrown together in a mess. Right now. Right, this is the air stapler, the match gun. Right, so I need to put that with other match stuff I got. You remember our trusty friend, the little palm sander? Right? He's got a cord a mile and a half long. Right? Right, there we go. Line them up. Now, before we put them away, check to make sure his filter's empty. Alright? Oops. You don't, want, oh, you don't want to put them away with a full filter. You don't. Check to make sure. Side back on. Look at the top. That's how long it takes. You put him right there. Now look. See? What do you see? There. Now, instead of a jumbled up mess, look at that. Organization. Any tool I want is within hands reach. Any which one. Look, I can get them off. I can get the skill saw. I can get the drill, I can get the drill, I can get the palm sander, I can get boss's grinder, I can get the little grinder, I can get the jigsaw, I can get the sander, look at that, I can get the cutter, the same shit. Right, what else do you need? This is why you organize your shop and how it works. Thank you.